Here is another Lexus LX470. Uh, but this particular car is a 2007 model. At the moment we've got five LX series in stock. We've got two LX570s and three LX470s. However, I think one, at least one, is just about sold. This particular car has done 238,000 kilometres, but it's the very, very last of the LX470. Every single service looking through the book has been done at a Lexus dealership, and it's got the original Dunlop Grand Trek tyres, which is what they came with brand new. Obviously they're not the same tyres which the car came with new, but they've kept buying the same brand and type. It's pearl white with beige leather interior, which I think is the best colour combination on these. It just looks stunning. The exterior and interior I think are in very good condition, especially when you compare it with other cars. And there's a few little marks like that which we can get painted. The driver's seat's very good. There's a couple of marks on the end there as well. But the car's just come in, it, it really needs a good detail. It's got a reverse camera, navigation, Bluetooth, parking sensors. It's got incredible off-road capability. Uh, it's got high range, low range, a centre differential, and it's got what Toyota, sorry, what Lexus and Toyota call A-Track, which is a viscous coupling to put power to the wheel with grip off-road. What's so impressive about these cars, I think that's why they're so desirable, so popular, and really have held their value pretty well, is because of their on-road and off-road ability. You may not know this, but these come with hydraulic suspension. It's a $20,000 option if you get a Land Cruiser Sahara. And yes, it goes up and down. At the moment, it's in the lowest setting. So it's in access height. It also goes up by about two feet. And it's got the normal setting, which is up by about half a foot to a foot. What's, also, what's even more amazing about it is that it's got automatic body control. So the car actually remains flat going around corners. It's got eight seats. You can, you can sit adults in the back if you want to. So, and I can actually tell you about this in depth because I've, I've got one. Um, when, you, when you're going, say, 80 kilometres now and you go into a corner, the car will main, remain completely flat. I remember in the old days, in the 80 series and the 60 series, you have to slow right down for a corner so the car just about roll over. So it's a very impressive thing to have. Like I've used mine to drive to the snow, I've driven it to, to Queensland, Melbourne, and um, you know, when you're on the Alpine Way and you're between Jindamine and um, Threadbow, um, first thing you do is you come up that very steep hill. So one good thing about these is it's got the 4.7 litre quad cam V8, which has got 170 kilowatts and it's got a huge amount of torque and I find when I drive up there I overtake all the Toyota RAV4s, Volkswagen Golfs and Pajeros and things going up the hill because it really performs between sort of 70 and 120. Um, and if you are getting to a corner which is getting a bit tight, you've got the four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive system but you've also got the automatic body control so it actually has car-like handling I know it sounds odd to say that a three-ton four-wheel drive has car-like handling but it's got independent wishbones on the front with a live axle on the back and because of it it automatically controls the uh, the height it is self-leveling as well so when you're on the freeway it does go down a little bit and if you've got a bunch of people in the car it will always remain flat Obviously, if you literally have eight big adults, it will sit a bit lower, and it will tell you on the dash. But that's pretty incredible, and it's great technology. If you go on to Google, you can look up, oh gosh, if you look up LX470 suspension or LX570, it's got exactly the same suspension. I think the LX570 is just a bit quicker to go up and down, but this is no slouch. It's hydraulic. It's not air like a Range Rover. I've never seen it fail, ever. 
Now, if if you're looking at these LX 470s, there are a few which has been which, which have been terribly treated. Um, I've seen I've seen one which was had been driven 50,000 kilometres without servicing. And yeah, if you mistreat them, you don't service them. Like there's a 200,000 kilometre service for these, and they do a suspension service. If you service them properly, they they won't have an issue. And what's so surprising is how cheap Lexus are comparatively in their servicing. I, I serviced mine at Lexus a few times, went to an independent. Amazingly, Lexus ended up being cheaper every time. I don't know how. Um, so I would suggest going to Lexus. But if you're looking for a reliable, safe, luxurious car which you can get in and you can drive it to Melbourne with no one complaining, then you've really got to get one of these. It says on the dash that the average fuel consumption is 16 litres per 100 k's. I don't know where that's been driven. But you know, obviously they do use, I'm not going to say it's cheap on fuel. I can get about 11 litres per 100 k's on the freeway and about 16 litres around town, which really isn't too bad when you consider that a diesel Discovery is probably going to get 7 litres or 8 litres per 100 k's on the freeway. Who cares about 3 litres every 100 kilometres? And you've got this beautiful V8. So it's very impressive. Um, but what is expensive in all these big cars like your Land Rover, Range Rover, Audi Q7, etc., is, is, is actually not the, the, the fuel. It's getting it serviced and saying, oh, look, you've got to spend four grand on the suspension, you've got to spend two grand on this, seven grand on a gearbox, whatever. You don't have those surprises. Generally, I find your minor services on these at Lexus are about $500. And major services around a grand, even just under. I had the major 200,000 kilometre service done on my car, and they said, you know, you're sitting down, it's a very, it's our most expensive service. It's very expensive. And I said, look, you know, I'd just like to get it done. They said it was $1,800. I thought, well, that's not too bad. That's the most expensive service I'm going to have. And it, gets, it does a suspension service, major service. That's pretty impressive, really, I thought. But yes, if you have been looking at LX 470s, please come and have a look at this one. So we've got a few in stock. They're not really cars you can buy into state you know, without seeing them or having someone have a look because they do get very badly treated, especially some of the cars up from, you know, from up in Queensland in that hot climate. Uh, they do get, uh, they do get very hot. The leather gets damaged. I don't know what people do with them, but I mean, I've seen them. We actually have one which has all new leather. You know, people get in and out here and they, they rip it with their jeans and stuffing comes up. I don't understand. I mean, when I get in the car, put one foot there, put my hand up here, lift myself up, and I get in the car, and it's, it's really not that difficult. But this is very impressive. I've driven it. It drives beautifully. It has not got a tow bar. It's good and bad, I guess. It hasn't got a tow bar, which is great. It's never towed anything. The only thing is if you want to tow something, obviously you can look at getting a tow bar, but it, it hasn't been pulling around a three and a half tonne boat or a caravan or anything, which is great news. It's got a couple of little stone chips on the bonnet, which doesn't, I don't think it's a bad thing. It means it's probably been driven on the freeway. I said it still needs a bit of a detail. We'll give these headlights a bit of a polish up. They'll come up nicely. And uh, I think you're looking at a pretty nice LX 470. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to hearing from you.